Hello everyone, it's Adam here. This is the Automatic Pro. This just came out, I think I got an email from Automatic on uh, about a week ago, or pretty much the same day, I think over the day afterwards. Um, before we start this video, I thought I would talk about Automatic. Now, I, people that don't follow my blog or my Flickr or my previous Twitter account or any of that stuff the last like decade, uh, I've got a really huge brand affinity. When a company treats me really well, um, I tend to be very loyal to them. So. Uh, Automatic is a perfect example of that loyalty uh, just, you know, being, um, you know, continually you know, followed up with on my part. So, before we get into this, this is the V2 Automatic Adapter. It's an OBD2 uh, adapter. The way it works, I'll show you what it looks like, actually. Does this open like the V1 did? I've got a V1 around here somewhere. Let's pop this thing open. I'll show you what it looks like inside. So the automatic adapter, OBD2, this is my uh, adapter number, which you need whenever you're setting it up on your smartphone. Inside here, it's very simple, actually. There's a little speaker, which comes through uh, these little holes here, a uh, little microchip, Bluetooth, um, and that's pretty much it. There's also a little bit of uh, transistors and stuff. It's really a basic operation. I mean, this is this this is it right here, and then of course the OBD2 interface. But what the what the what the automatic does though, and what it's really good at, snatch right back together, is the um, the accompanying iPhone app. So just to catch you guys up on the history of these, in the V1 product from Automatic, uh, there was the adapter, really stupid adapter. It would read. Things like the engine starting, the engine stopping, the uh, the throttle percentage amount, the brake pressure. I don't even think it read G-force. I think it was just like that. Plus, they added eventually. I think they added fuel level eventually. Maybe that was a V2 feature. But everything was basically sent to your iPhone to the automatic application. It was very basic back in the day, and it would give you uh, your driving score for each trip, your hard stops, your hard um, starts. And using the GPS on the phone, it would give you your start and your end point and how much um, fuel you used or estimated how much fuel you used. Um, it will give you a cost, not a fuel amount, because uh, not many people really understand what you know 1.2 gallons translates to. They do understand what costs translate to. And the score was based on um, their community. So um, overall, of the history of me being an automatic customer, I think on the bottom 5% of their drivers for my score. So I bring everyone down, or everyone looks better than me, I don't know. Then uh, a year and a half after that ship, I really had some problems with the V1, mostly connectivity issues. Then they shipped the V2, the connectivity issues are completely gone, uh, same price, I think it was 69 or 99 and uh, what they did was they added a memory built into here, so it would save your last uh, 10 trips. Uh, so if your phone wasn't present, it would save what time the car started and stopped. Uh, the driving style, but it did not have a built-in GPS chip. So it just basically would sync back to the phone after your phone was back present again. It would tell you that someone did drive it for 10 miles. Here's how crazy they were. Here's their score. But it wouldn't tell you where they went. So that was the V2, and I happily upgraded. I gave the V1 into, to my girlfriend's in her car, and she had the same connectivity issues that I had, even though that one was replaced uh, a couple of times. V2's been great. I love it. So, enter the V3, or as they call it, Automatic Pro. What's interesting about the, the Automatic Pro is there's no, there's no cheap pricing on the V2. You can't get a V2 for like 25 bucks. It's gone. Out of the picture. You can't get it anymore. Once it's sold out at like Best Buy and, and those kind of places, Staples, uh, it's gone forever. Uh, Automatic Pro is the new hotness. It's uh, gold instead of silver. <laughs> I think, I should look this up actually. I believe it was 100 bucks um, versus, versus 70 no, it was 130. Sorry, it was 130 for the Automatic Pro. The biggest two advantages, um, built-in GPS. So, like I said earlier, this isn't going to tell you where the car went while your phone wasn't present. So it's built-in GPS to tell you where the car went, but it also has built-in 3G wireless with free service for the life of the device, which Automatic says, <clears throat> for legal reasons, they're promising five years of free service, but on their <clears throat> their K-base, their knowledge base, they said that it's just a legal thing. They really intend on... Uh, giving you 3G service for, the, for as long as the device lasts. Uh, the warranty is still only one year. <clears throat> uh, biggest things that were added other than 3G, wireless, and GPS, which does mean you don't need a phone anymore. If your phone is not in your pocket, 
if someone borrows your car for two months, it doesn't matter. It's still going to track all that data, which is really nice. Um, one additional thing they did, which is a possibly a fuel killer, fuel is a way to track your MPG and your gas mileage, which I use religiously for the past four or five years. Um, no, five years I've used fuel uh, this has built-in uh, fuel ups, so you can uh, log how much gas you added and what you paid. So, uh, you know, it's possible that I switch over to this from Fuely. But one thing that this is, doesn't have is, or what's the major setback for me and why I was hesitant to upgrade, is Automatic Pro is a separate application, a version one separate application. The old Automatic application I just had on my screen, totally gone. Uh, they're moving just to, to a Pro app, which is losing a few features that um, they say they'll add back in over time. but. You know, they say this device is ready, so we put it out into the world, and any features that are missing will eventually get added back in. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I does see on the box is this does support the third-party apps. So if you use um, Dash Command, if you use IFTTT, uh, those kind of things to track your trips, it still has that. It still has Crash Alert, Track Your Car, um, Check Engine Lights, and then it says Download Car Apps for Fun, Business, and Performance. Uh, it does require an iPhone 5 and newer or Android Phone OS 5.0 Plus. For use in US only, I believe the Canadian version was coming soon, but no promises. And any uh, car after 1996 uh, works with this. It has a one year warranty. So, packaging looks different. Uh, maybe I'll remember in this video to upload some pictures of what the packaging used to look like. Does this just come up? Yeah, it just comes right up. Oh, there it is. Alright, so uh, V2 and the Automatic Pro side by side. Looks, uh, it looks snazzier. They've moved some of the same serial number, of course, new FCC ID. Uh, yep. Hit the road. Does this have things in it? Anything else in here, like instructions or anything? I don't think so. I mean, there's got to be, right? Maybe it's just here. Huh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you do. Don't plug in your adapter. Just go to here first, download the application, and then uh, you're set to... Go. So if you don't want um, always on 3G or GPS and don't want to pay 129, then hit your local store and buy the remaining of the V2 adapters. Uh, just like my last version, this is going to my girlfriend. Uh, what I do notice though, unless they added a louder speaker inside, there's no room here for a speaker. It's very interesting. So V2s while supplies last, I don't know, Pro is the future. Um, I'm gonna install it now. I'm not gonna videotape that, but you know the the process is pretty simple. I'm just gonna go to the App Store and download the new automatic app. There we go. So let's actually see what the other apps they publish. Is this coming in at all? Uh, kind of. So what I hope though is that this um, that this just what my my fear was when I, when I put this post on my blog a couple days ago was that the new application won't contain any of my old driving data. So. All right, allow notifications. Sure. Allow location, I guess so. Set up a vehicle. Now, um, what does that say? So, is your vehicle in a garage? Drive it outside with a good cellular signal. Now, this is going to be funny because right now I've got four bars, but it's because I have a uh, Verizon 3G base station. I don't have service where I live. There is no service. So, outside is probably not going to work. All right, we got our adapter pin. Nick, these are mine, by the way. This is for adapter for Automatic Pro uh, only, which is... Okay, so we are going to plug this guy in. It's in. Let's hit the continue. It is connected. Firmware update. Oh, yeah, very nice. So it does still have a a microphone, a speaker in there. It's just it doesn't have a little. It must be a little bit louder because there's no hole for it to uh, to get the sound out of it better. Okay, now we turn the key on that started the engine. And it is a 
Oh, that's interesting. We're going to call it a Lamborghini in here because I don't know if that has anything to do with the score or not. This is the new automatic interface. GPS unknown, OED unknown. Start it up, I guess. I guess that would be interesting, actually. Of course, premium. We want Imperial. Let's turn it off, and once it once it syncs with uh, everything. So we're going, I have a I have a hard time believing this thing is going to be able to synchronize with uh, automatic from where I live, but it'll synchronize when I go into town, I guess. So I guess it's really been it for this review. You know, there's um, it's all set up now. It's a nice little interface. We'll have to see. So help. Parking recording will now start. I have to get into how all the the gasoline fill ups here. Insights. My driving style. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually a little bit more detailed than it gave me in the past. Overall, we'll see how it does. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Pretty easy setup overall. And um, yeah, we'll see how it does over the next year. They said they're going to add more features over time. So this is kind of a, a you know a version 1.0 you know uh, pre-production kind of you know it'll get updated pretty regularly. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.